It's alright guys, we're getting back on track. It's gonna be okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while. Sorry. School, work, life. But I'm back. We're back. And guess what? We're getting back on track. Today's video is going to be talking about how you guys can get back on track for your fitness goals. I know sometimes life happens and you just kind of fall off the wagon and your vacation that you took last week turns into a month of not going to the gym and then you start eating it in and out every day because you don't have time to cook and then you're like wait what happened I was doing so well what am I gonna do so today I will talk to you about six tips that will help you get your butt back on track tip number one realize that it is okay it is okay that you fell off the wagon it is okay that you took a break sometimes life gets in the way and that is okay let go of the guilt it's gonna be fine you ate that bag of cheetos this morning no one's gonna judge you the only person that's judging you is yourself and guess what it is okay that you fell off the wagon we're gonna get back on it let's do it tip number two change your mindset remember that this is a lifestyle and not a diet so once you have it in your head that this is a lifestyle and not a diet it's going to be so much easier for you to stick to your plan and make better choices for your life tip number three don't make excuses stop making excuses for yourself of why you didn't get up this morning to the gym or why you didn't have time to meal prep or why you had a whole bottle or two bottles of wine this week when you're not supposed to drink till friday your lifestyle is not going to change until you stop making those excuses. Once you stop making excuses, it'll be so much easier for you to stick to making these lifestyle choices and stick to being on your path of eating healthy. So stop making those excuses. I see you. I'm going to come after you. So tip number four is set new goals. So obviously it's time to make a new plan because the plan that you were using before is not working or else we would still be on the train. But we got off. It's okay, we're taking a detour. We're gonna make a new plan. I am also struggling with this right now. I got bored of my routine and I thought that me waking up at 5 a.m. to go to the gym before school and work was gonna be a great plan for me. It wasn't. I don't like waking up at 5 a.m. It's torture, I like my sleep. So I need to figure out another time that I can fit between going to the gym, between school and work, and sleeping. So, that is what I'm trying to do right now and that's what you guys need to do. You need to figure out what was working in your old plan and then take those things that were working and implement them into a new plan and then see what wasn't working in that plan and change what wasn't working so you have a plan that's going to work for you. Tip number five, be realistic with your goals. So like I said, obviously me going to the gym at 5 a.m. is not realistic. I tried it, no, don't want to do it, not going to do it don't want to get up at 5 a.m. So I need to be realistic and you need to be realistic too. So when you're making a realistic goal, remember that you have to start small. You can't just quit everything cold turkey. So if you're trying to cut all sugar out of your diet and all soda out of your diet and all alcohol and everything else, it's not going to work because we need to make small changes in order to make a bigger change and for it to last. So instead of saying, okay, cool, I'm not going to drink any more soda or I'm not going to eat any more hot Cheetos, Start small. Say, okay, maybe this week I'm only going to drink one soda a day. And then for the next couple weeks, only drink one soda a day. And then when you start being able to do that, then you can cut down and be like, okay, maybe I'm going to have four sodas this entire week. And then, you know, you just start building off of that so that the small changes turn into bigger changes, which will eventually turn into a lifestyle change. So my last tip for you guys is obviously something that's near and dear to my heart, and it's nutrition. Nutrition is key. You can go to the gym six times a week, twice a day, and not see the results if you're not eating healthy. If you don't have time to make healthy meals every single day, meal prep. Or if you are having trouble with figuring out what it is in your diet that's not working for you, why don't you journal what you're eating and keep a log of what you're eating all week and then see what's working for you and what's not working for you and then where you can actually make the changes. So once you start making changes into your diet, it'll then help you stay on track to your health goals later and then you can go to the gym and do work, figure all that stuff out later. But 
the first thing you need to focus on is nutrition because nutrition is key. Alright guys, that's all I have for you today. I really hope this video helps you out and helps you get your butt back on track of living a healthy lifestyle. If you guys did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Have a great day guys. Bye!